Recently a new book has captured public attention, The Plant Paradox, by Stephen Gundry, MD, focused on the surprising claim that lectins are the source of most, perhaps all human disease. It's too time consuming to swat away every bit of nonsense that hits the popular media in nutrition. The Plant Paradox is written by an author who reminds us of his distinguished career in medicine, including his experience in research. Dr. Gundry says, with all modesty that he has found there is a common cause for most health problems. This sounds like we've come across quite the amazing secret, just now uncovered by Dr. Gundry. So, he wants to educate us, but about what? The first hint comes from the book's title, The Plant Paradox. A reader might think, aha, perhaps something is wrong with all that whole grain, vegetable nonsense after all. I like this. I knew that there was a reason why I never liked veggies and why I should, instead, be eating grass-fed meat. This book is for me. So, what, specifically, is wrong with plants? According to this book, it's not only about that awful gluten that we have heard so much about but about a whole class of highly toxic, plant-based proteins called lectins of which gluten is a member. He says that lectins are found not only in grains like wheat but also in the gluten-free foods like, many fruits, vegetables, nuts, beans and conventional dairy products, which many of us regard as healthy. After consumption, they incite a kind of chemical warfare in our bodies, causing inflammatory reactions that can lead to weight gain and serious health conditions. In The Plant Paradox, renowned cardiologist Dr. Stephen Gundry reveals that gluten is just one variety of a common, and highly toxic, plant-based protein called lectin. Lectins are found not only in grains like wheat but also in the gluten-free foods most of us commonly regard as healthy, including many fruits, vegetables, nuts, beans, and conventional dairy products. Even more egregious are the wild claims he makes with no referencing at all, which is most of the text. There are some rather random inaccuracies. Sometimes it almost seems like this author is just making things up that sound good. Dr. Gundry offers a very detailed list of yes and no foods based on whether they contain lectins, and several stages of dieting that a person must progress through. Grains, beans, and potatoes are to be avoided. Many vegetables, or fruits, botanically speaking, are to be avoided, including peppers and tomatoes and squashes. That's exactly the premise of this book, which shares how one plant protein could play a role in your health woes. If you want a thorough summary of this book, click the link in the description below. Please like and subscribe to this channel for more book summary videos. Thank you.